Hi! In this video I will show you how to load the network data from literature review to Gephi and make a, a network visualization of the citation network. Now when you open up Gephi you will see usually this screen first. Here we can just click a new project and now it's all empty and we can go to data laboratory where we can see a button saying import spreadsheet. We click that. Then first we will need to load a notes table and uh, let's change that to notes table and find the file. Um, and in the output of the review there will be lots of files. Uh, and the ones we want to use here are, are citation notes and citation edges. These two files contain the information on citation networks. There's also auto nodes and auto edges in case you want to make a collaboration network of the authors. So let's choose citation nodes, open that and press next. Um, then we could change year published which is a numeric uh, value, change that to integer, integer. I don't know if it really matters, but let's do it anyway. And hit finish. If, if the network is large, it will take a little while for the gap to load, but okay, here we can see all the nodes. And then we can go straight ahead and uh, load also the edges table. And so we choose here edges table. Uh, now uh, the GEPHI is complaining that the currently selected file is not uh, in a correct format, but it's okay. We go here and find citation edges, hit open and the error goes away and we can press next. Here we can again change year published to integer and hit, hit finish and the GEPHI will now load also the information on the edges. So now here we have nodes and if we click this we can see all the edges and they are all directed because citations go on one way. Now we can go to overview and here is our network. It looks quite horrible at the moment. There's just way too much stuff. It's about Here you can see there's about 17,000 nodes and 20,000 edges. Uh, but it's okay, we can filter it. But before doing that, let's move to the statistics. We could calculate, for example, modularity, which uh, tries to group the uh, nodes together based on, on their connections. And uh, the more they have, the more two nodes have connections together, the more likely they are to be in uh, some group. Um, and then we could also do a page rank which is uh, the famous Google algorith algorithm for finding out important nodes. We will use this information later when we visualize, visualize the network more. But next, after doing those calculations, we probably should filter the network a bit because it's way too big. We can go to filters and there choose topology and for example filter by in degree range, which is uh, the number of incoming connections for nodes, and maybe we only see nodes that have two incoming, at least two incoming connections, and see what we get when we then we can hit filter. Okay, now we only have uh, 1,600 nodes visible, and that might be a much more easier network easier to visualize. We already can see a little bit of a structure. Then uh, to make uh, things a little bit more orderly, here's a layout menu. We can choose a layout. Uh, there's quite many to use nowadays and I've downloaded a little bit more, but uh, Force Atlas 2 is usually a good one to go with. Then we can just hit run and we can see the network starting to take form in front of our eyes. There's also, t you can uh, tune the characteristics of the network, for example, if you 
visualized hubs. They will, it tries to put the hubs farther away. Or we can uh, prevent overlap so all the nodes will be separated and it tries to keep things getting on the way. Okay, the network starts to look as good as it gets, so we can press stop uh, to make uh, 10. Here we can color the nodes and edges if we want. We, when we his, hit refresh, we will get the new things that we calculated over here. We can also use them. So we can choose modularity class and then apply. And uh, now we can see different groupings that uh, Jeffy has found. Then we can go to ranking. Um, we can change uh, color or size or weight here, but maybe it's better to change size because we already did color. And we could use, for example, in degree to change the sizes. So now, now the nodes that have lots of incoming connections are large, so we can start to see which papers are important here. And again, we can now there see a little bit of overlap, so we could run a layout algorithm a little more to get rid of the overlap. Okay, and now we have a nice network that shows some how the some of the papers are connected. Again, this is quite heavily filtered. There's only 9% 9, 9 of papers visible, um, but still might show us a little bit of the structure. And other, uh, another thing we could do here is we could change color. If we want to see, uh, if we are, we are not interested in uh, groupings, but the importance we could maybe change color according to page rank score. And when we hit apply, we will see the more important papers by the page rank in uh, darker, darker colors. And if we click here, this little symbol, we can now go and check what these papers actually are. For example, this one is, uh, let's see, let's see the whole ID. It's Bonabel 1999 Swarm Intelligence is the reference to this paper. And uh, one last uh, partition thing that we could do is um, we could use origin for coloring the papers. So here, here we could see um, the papers who were originally in the downloaded dataset colored in blue and the papers that were only mentioned in the references of those papers are colored in red. And if we apply that, we can see that most of the important papers were actually not those that I had downloaded, but uh, only mentioned in the references. Okay, so this concludes the, uh, our short tour on Gephi and hope you enjoy. Bye.